When you start getting into solo whitewater canoeing, you'll see that there's a huge variety of boats you can use. All the way from very short play boats like this one, up to longer boats that are more intended for tripping and for other sort of down, more downriver uses. The major differences in these boats have to do with length, width, and materials, and often with rocker. And the rocker is the amount that the hull curves from one end to the other. This boat has a fair amount of rocker and is also very short, so that's going to make this boat spin very easily. It's going to turn really readily and it's going to be a really great play boat. It'll surf nice short waves well and it'll spin into eddies. What it won't do is it won't go straight very easily. A longer boat such as this one that has much less rocker and a lot more hull in the water at any one time is going to be much better at going in a straight line. So it'll be less frustrating for a beginner or for someone trying to go downriver or make some distance on a river. The other element that makes a difference on these boats is width. If you look at, for instance, this Vertige X, it's a nice wide boat, has a nice wide center, a fairly flat bottom. So it's going to have a lot of initial stability. So when you're first sitting in the boat, it's going to be fairly stable side to side. The contrast to that, again, is the zoom here which is super narrow and still has a fairly flat bottom, but it's going to be fairly tippy side to side because there's not a whole lot of secondary stability there once you start to lean over. So no matter what boat you choose for solo whitewater canoeing, make sure it's suited for the type of boating you're going to do and the type of rivers you're going to run, and do some research ahead of time. There's lots of varieties out there and lots to choose from.